Last year, I performed a card trick for you. It was a mathic trick because I told you I was going to explain to you how I did it. And I did briefly, but this year, I'm going to give you a detailed explanation as to how that card trick worked. I apologize that it's been a whole year since I did the trick to the time that I'm explaining it to you. But if you take a deck of cards, 52 cards, we'll call it the Calculus brand deck, what we did right off the bat was we removed X cards from the deck. A student did that, I think it was Pong, and I didn't know how many cards he removed. That left us with 52 minus X cards in the deck. And then I think it was Jun chose a card, and he placed that, actually Pong placed that card in the deck, right here let's say, that's the hidden card which I was not aware of, did not know the card, such that there were X minus one cards on top of this card, one less than the number removed. But I didn't know how many were removed, so I didn't know where this card was placed. And then I asked Dan for a number. I, th I think I said between 35 and 45. I probably should have said between 30 or 40, but it still worked as it turned out. And Darren picked a number, we'll call it Y. And what I did was I took 52 minus Y cards from here and I placed them at the bottom of the deck. Whatever his number was, I subtracted from 52 and I took that many cards. I did it one at a time. I could have done them all together. I moved them to the bottom of the deck, moving the deck down here. So this number here is also 52 minus Y. Once I removed those cards from the top and put them on the bottom, how many cards were left in the original portion of the deck? Well, 52 minus X, that's this number. Subtract that number, because those were moved down here. So the remaining number in the top part of the deck is equal to Y minus X. The 52's subtract to give zero. Negative, negative Y is positive Y minus X. And then, of course, the hidden card was also moved down because it, it moved with those 52 minus X cards. It's 52 minus Y cards. That's why I made sure Y was, I should have made it no bigger than 42. And he picked 40, so we were okay. So there's the hidden card. This is X minus one again. That's this number here. And then there's some more cards down here. But I want to know where this card is in the deck. The top of the deck is here. The top of the new deck, that's where the hidden card is, right below there. So what's that? That distance is y minus x minus x minus 1. Um, sorry, plus x minus 1. Right? It's, this, it's th these ones. right here. Um, yeah, y minus x plus x minus 1, that's right. So y minus x is from here to here. Of course, that equals y minus 1. So the hidden card is one more than this. It's the yth card. And so I got Darren's number back from him. I counted from the top of the new deck exactly the same number as his, and that was the card. Voila. There you have it. Thank you, Dong Jun. So the algebra is not that. <laughs>